Nylander has all the leverage against the Leafs, and this sucks for them. He's going, okay, try to trade me. And they're like, well, one, there's not a place that necessarily wants to get into a contract negotiation with you right now either. Because like you trade for Nylander, you got to be willing to give him what he wants. He's got the leverage the second he walks into the door. He's a guy who stays healthy. He's a guy who produces points. He's a guy who's produced goals. What are the odds that he's not going to be able to hit the open market next year as the Darlene's and the you know Bertuzzi's fall off the board and get exactly what he wants right now? All the rumors around this are they're way apart, like more than a million AAV, like it's, it's, which is not even close at this point. They're left with a lot of not great decisions. And the one thing you didn't mention with the, the leverage being in, in Nylander's side is he's got the no trade clause too. He's yeah. got a 10-team no exactly. trade. So, you know, and he's got a really, really smart agent in Lewis Gross, who's the, the Goudreau agent and has had a lot of clients that have moved around and done well for themselves. They could have engineered that no trade clause to be, you know, any possible destination where he might be traded. Just put all those 